Hey, Nord Anglia. I'm here by the ocean. I came because I met James Bryce. James is a graduate student at MIT who loves the beach and inspired me to take a closer look. Oh my gosh, I love the beach. The, the beach that I know has a lot of seagulls. It is rocky in some places and sandy in others. The waves sort of crash in and then they leave and everything's moving. It's definitely been a big part of my childhood and also what I study now. So Nord Anglia students are clearly studying sound effects, but James is studying coastal ecosystems and climate adaptation. So we're here in the Neff Lab today. I study oysters, which are these amazing, what people call ecosystem engineers. What is a small thing, this like tiny oyster reef, actually winds up strengthening the populations of fish kind of all the way up the ecosystem chain. Climate change is going to influence our coasts in a lot of different ways. And so my research has to do with coastal adaptation, which is looking at the shore and asking the question, how can we adapt to be better prepared for this change? People are interested in oyster reefs and their ability to protect the coastline from change. They're, they're pretty powerful little guys. If like a small change happens, in an ecosystem somewhere. Is that going to have a really big impact on the whole thing? I'm sort of curious about that kind of thing. Usually these ecosystems are stable because they've evolved to be able to deal with change. So change is not always bad for an ecosystem. Wait, 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 wait. What's an ecosystem? Do you know what an ecosystem is? Yes. Can you tell me what an ecosystem is? Mm. I think we did this in geography. An ecosystem is the world around you and where you have a lot of wildlife, and it's not all man-made, it's very natural. That's pretty good. An ecosystem generally is you know, a collection of plants and animals, but I actually think it's important that we consider us as part of the ecosystem as well. Humans, we have a lot of power to make big change in our ecosystems. Hi, I'm Marti. How are you? My name is Marcelo. I want to save the world, I want to save the planet. How can we continue doing action about climate change? You know, recycling and, and being mindful of our waste streams is one really important piece. But for me, sustainability is about looking at the natural ecosystems that have been sustaining themselves for hundreds, thousands, in some case millions of years, and kind of seeing what we can learn from what already works. So hopefully, in the future, we'll see more, instead of seawalls protecting our shores, we'll see more sort of like large expanses of oyster reefs and salt marshes. So less seawalls, more oyster reefs. That's my plan. <laughs> Thank you so much. I loved your questions. These are the questions that inspired me to study physics and, and study nature. You heard of Nord Anglia. Be curious and ask MIT.